I literally have no idea where I'm going to balance you. Everywhere I'm trying to balance you, you're falling off. <laughs> I can't be dropping my new phone on such a regular basis. It's not cool. If this is my old phone, then we could get away with it. But we can't, because this is a new phone. Let's see if we can balance you. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I, can't, I don't even know where the camera is. Nope, that's not... <sighs> gonna work there's two of you how was that that was so cool look there's two of me what the fuck <laughs> okay how about like this yes we have lift off just about I move that there and I move you there yes right so today I'm in my car kind of um it's like a zero degrees slash minus two degrees so I've brought some coffee outside with me in my mother's Starbucks mug. I'm more of a Costa girl myself, but I like this because it reminds me of her. So you have to excuse the sun behind me. Um, today I'm changing Holly's, uh, what do you call it? Car seat over because She's over 15 kgs now and she's still using the these straps and the padding is still in and I feel like it's just getting all a little bit too tight for her at the moment. So I've come out to attempt, <laughs> I say attempt, changing it into the stage, is it stage two to three? Let me see. Yeah, for group two to three, for... 15 to 36 kg, so approximately 4 to 12 years old. So I should be able to do this once and it should last her until she's 12 years old, in theory. So she's not 4, but she's definitely over 15 kgs last time I weighed her. I don't know if that's right because she's a squirt. I'm pretty certain she's over 15 kgs. 15, I don't know. We'll roll with it. I can always put it back. So. Right, so we need to remove it from its isofix. One, and the top tether I've already removed. Okay, so number 13, adjust the car seat into the most reclined position. My hands are cold already. Okay, so using this in my reclined position. Okay, cool. Uh, by pulling the lever, yep. Remove the seat opening shaft by releasing the end from its lock and pulling the shaft out of the seat. Pull the top of the seat forward. Okay, so let's turn this around. So okay. All right. And then D pull that that out wow and we're pulling this out as well and then down and then pulling maybe I am okay there was two of those was I supposed to do two of those and then moving this wow okay cool got you well, that's clever so Right, that's that stage done. God, I'm such a boffin. Loosen the harness by pushing the adjuster as you pull the harness forward as much. Okay, 
私リスナーです。The Christmas one. Oh my god, my hands are so cold. Okay, is that done? Now what? Lift the shoulder harness to gain better access to the chest pad locking bar. Replace, release the chest pad locking bar. On the rear of the seat by pulling it backwards sharply. Huh? I don't think I've got one of them. I think I've already taken it out. I think this is. Oh no. All right. I see. I can't pull on it sharply. I've got false nails. See the rest of the Okay. All right, so that's that. Slide the chest pad straps off the chest pad locking bar. Uh, shoulder harness from the front of the car seat until the shoulder harness and chest pad straps come through the backrest of the seat. What does that look like in English? Okay, that looks like this. Okay, cool. Right, so they've come out. That's come off. I'm assuming that's right. Okay, step 15. Lift the bottom part of the seat cover to gain access to the waist harness clips. The bottom part of the seat cover. What? Where? How? bit already taken out of this. Must have. Push the waist harness clips ends through the slots in the child car seat A. What? Lift the bottom part of the seat cover to gain access to the waist harness clips. Push the waist harness clip 
ends through the slot like the clips these are the clips all right those are those are the legit the clips push the lace harness clip ends through the slots in the child car seat a push the clips through from under the seat B and then through the seat cover. Huh? I'm sure I've taken some of this out then already. What the fuck? What the fuck again? Sure, they just made that way more complicated than what it needed to be. What crazy witchcraft is this? Defeated by a child's car seat. Oh, look at the neck. Let's take that off. Right, let's pull these gubbins, gubbins, gubbins in here so they don't get lost. My fingers are so cold. Oh my goodness. Do you know what the easy answer to this is, guys? <laughs> Don't have children. <laughs> Flip. Oh my goodness me. Get out of my face. I can't do this. My hands are just gone. <sighs> Come on. Pull your finger out. Oh, it's because this is folded over and it's made it like doubly as thick. Because we all need that in our lives, don't we? Alright, let's push it back in. Who's driving up my road like a knob? Okay, let's feed this back in. Feed. Go back in so I can unfold you. Oh my goodness me. Don't have children. Nobody have children. So all sterilize yourself. Wear condoms when you have sex. Go on the pill. There we are. That's the boy. needs to come out of there. Right. Now what do I do with this one? Go away. Right, I need a cup of coffee for that now because 
caffeine and tings. How do I? I do not know. Right. I think that's that section done. What's what's this? This is actually attached to the seat. This is yeah. You can't get any less than that. Right. Numero sixteen. Preparing. Push the harness clips. Seat liners can now be removed. Right, I've done that. Prepare the child car seat. Yeah. Pull the harness adjuster connector. Right. Until the end of the harness adjuster strap fits under the harness adjuster flap. <laughs> what the fuck? The adjuster strap can be folded and retained in the bottom of the child car seat base with the fabric fastener. Right, apparently. Ah, oh, I got it. I see. I see. What's B? Yes. Logical. Ta da! Is that really how it goes? Incredible. I think of everything. Right, before installation, remove the harness seat liners from the child's seat and lock the back of the seat with the seat opening shaft. See steps 12 to 15. Number 17. G. Right, see steps 12 to 15. So I'm literally going. I've done those. I've done that. Before installation, remove the harness seat liners. Done that. Lock the back of the seat with the seat opening shaft. Right, so which boy was the seat opening shaft? Right, so that would be this one. So that is this boy, well, that's through, and that's locked, so that no longer comes up. Oh, look at me go. I am the best mum. We're doing it for the single mums over here. This is totally a dad job. Fit the child car right. Note, seat liners, harness, chest pads, da -da 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 -da, must not be used in groups two to three of installations. Note shit, Sherlock. Fit the child's car seat to the vehicle seat A and fasten the tether strap. See steps eight to ten. It's all about the pictures. How long has this taken me so far? 20 minutes. 
Right. So basically, A and B is Isofix and the tether. Right, we're doing it. It needs to go. this happens I feel like I need to hoover maybe I'll just do that afterwards. not moving anywhere in life. Just ignore that. Right, these need to go into gubbins. Right, what's up with this? How do I... Right, nobody told me how to get rid of this. Forgotten to do something. It's because it literally doesn't tell you, that's the thing. I feel like I've been cheated. but
push the crotch harness clip through the slot in the underside of the seat. Push the crotch harness clip. Push the crotch harness clip through the slot in the underside of the seat. Again. Right, some more coffee. Half an hour. <laughs> right, where's the book now? Okay. Right, what stage are we on? Cannot remember. Done that. Right. So, release the vehicle seat belt lock at C under the headrest. What stage are we on? Release the vehicle seatbelt lock, C, under the headrest. Feed the vehicle seatbelt 
into the gap D under the vehicle seat belt slot until the vehicle seat belt is located in the vehicle seat belt slot. Push the vehicle seat belt lock back. Pardon. Seat belt slot forward. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm assuming you only need to do this on one side, whatever side is nearest to the seat belt. So it says D vehicle seat belt is Okay, got you. Now that slides back. Sweet. That is clever. Right, so that's done, that's done, that's done. Stage 18. Place your child in the car seat and fasten the vehicle seat belt while the child is in school. Pull the vehicle seat belt upwards to tension the belt. Mm-hmm. The vehicle seat belt should be positioned between your child's shoulder and neck right. If the vehicle seat belt is in the correct position, the lap belt should fit over the red tags sewn into the cover on either side of the seat. Right. If the height of the vehicle seat belt can be adjusted by squeezing the lever at the back of the headrest and raising or lowering the headrest in the correct position. Right. The position of the seat belt lap strap buckle can be a f can affect the stability of your child's car seat. In an accident, this could stop the child's car seat from protecting your child as well as it should. If, when, the seat belt, lap strap belt is properly tightened. The buckle lies in the position marked X. Then try fitting the child car seat in another seating position in your vehicle. For the safety of your child, please check yada yada yada. Without I say next. Right, okay, cool. We're done. done. That's so cool. I didn't realise that you could use this without Isofix either, now that we've got the seatbelt in. And we can. And that's wicked. Because that's so cool. Yay! Yay! I think we're done here. <laughs> I'm going to hoover. Or you're balancing against my vacuum cleaner. Hoover. It's not Hoover, it's vacuum cleaner. 